Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you, Natalie? I'm fine. Oh, very good. Hi, Roxana. Jocelyn, Abigail, how are you? Oh, they're not connected. Hi, teacher. Oh, hi, Rosanna. How are you? Very nice. Oh, nice. Very good. Hi, Nelson. Very good. I am ready. You can say I am very good or very well. I am very Hi, Nelson. Hi, Luis Ricardo. Hi, this is good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Very well, teacher. Oh, thank nice. You. Very good. Thank you. Oh, I'm very well. Thank you very much. Ready for a new day. I'm ready. Oh, very good. Excellent. Uh, ¿Quiénes se me conectaron ayer y no pudieron? ¿Quiénes están ya preparados de los que están aquí? Luis, oh my God, I'm really sorry about that, Luis. Yo, oh, yo, teacher. <laughs> Hi, Wendy, Natalie. Jocelyn is connected and amiga yo too. All right. So Luis and Juan Carlos se habían conectado ayer. I'm sorry, guys. Lo siento mucho. I'm really sorry. Yo también, teacher. Uh, Jocelyn, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Jocelyn. I'm sí, sorry. Con, con María Elena y Nelson. Oh, <laughs> el, the, the problem Estamos is that... Estamos todos reunidos ahí. Yeah. <laughs> Al menos echaron una... Los tres vamos a hacer la clase. <laughs> <laughs> a review, un repaso. A review. Sí que la vez pasada que estuvimos así, eh, ya sé bastante, en, la, en el primer módulo, una vez nos pasó algo así también, y como solamente era una hora, todos hicimos, todos repetimos lo mismo que habíamos oh, estudiado. Aprovecharon para practicar. Aprovechamos para practicar cabal. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Amber. Yeah, actually, the, the problem is that yesterday in my place, in, in, in the place I live, there was no electricity. No había electricidad en el lugar donde yo vivo, no había energía. Entonces me quedé como esperando con la fe que, que todavía, ¿verdad? Día a las, a, la, a las 8 que todavía venga la, 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 la energía, pero no, nunca vino la energía. Entonces, ya lo último sí se tuvo que, que cancelar, obviamente. Y el detalle es que en toda la zona no había electricidad. Entonces, Una pregunta, ¿y esa hora, la va, ese día lo vamos a reponer? Yes, on Monday, el lunes. Se reprogramó para el lunes. ¿En oh. where do you live? Sorry. Where do you live? I live in Hopaitique, Morazan. In the in the northern in the northern part of Morazan, in the zona norte de Morazan. Okay. In the northern part of Morazan. Yes, Amber. In Poloros. No, no. Hopaitique. <laughs> yes, Amber. <laughs> Hello. Perdón. El siguiente modo también. Okay. Hello, dime Rosana. El siguiente módulo usted. Yes, yes, I will give it. God willing, primero Dios, God willing. Mm -hmm. Richard, ¿y yes. cuándo entremos a cartones o no vamos pero, a tener? Entiendo que sí, pero bueno, entendería que sí, básicamente en bueno, en realidad, fíjense, por, porque a la otra semana en vacación, ¿verdad? En la otra sí. semana sería vacación. Fíjense que en realidad no he, no he preguntado, pero vamos a ver si se conecta alguien de inglés corporativo. A ver si nos puede, nos puede ayudar con esa duda. O si no, ya le voy a escribir a alguien para, para confirmarlos. Pero igual lo que dijo Elena eh, de, la, de la sesión de ayer es que la íbamos a reponer el día, el día, el día lunes, ¿ok? Así que seguramente el día lunes, ¿ok? All right, so um, I think it's time to start. Es hora de empezar, so uh, good evening again. Okay, so um, for today, we have, obviously, right, we have unit four. 
the last week of the module, la última semana del módulo. So uh, we have week number four and unit number four today. Uh, but before we go to unit four, uh, we will do an activity of unit three. Vamos a hacer una actividad de la unidad tres que nos quedó pendiente, que es importante. It's very important, okay? So by now, por ahora, by now, I want you to think, I want you to think about activities or duties, como quieran llamar las activities or duties, you do in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night, I mean, in the evening, I repeat. In this moment, think, think about activities you do in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening, all right? So please, think about that. Piensen en eso ahorita, think about that. For example, you can say in the morning, I check email, or in the morning, I go to work. Or you can say in the afternoon, I answer or I make phone calls or I check merchandise. I don't know, right? Think about activities. Piensen en actividades. Think about activities right now. Activities you do in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre evening y afternoon? Do you remember? Recuerda? What is the difference between morning uh, and afternoon? In the tarde, evening is para entrando la noche. Yes. Uh, evening is late in the day and almost night. Okay. Ya bien tarde, pero antes de la noche. Okay. Ya cayendo la noche. Yeah. So that is evening. Eso es evening. Okay. So think, please, for a moment. Piensen un, un momento. Think for a moment. Activities or duties you do in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. You can, you can think about personal activities or activities at work. Okay, no problem. Any activity, any duty. In the meantime, I will start passing the attendance. Mientras tanto, le voy a pasar asistencia, okay? All right, let's see. Veamos. Okay, uh, Abigail. I'm here. Okay. Brenda. I'm here. Elgar. I'm here. All right, thank you, Ember. I'm here, teacher. Right. Eh, okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you for uh, telling. Thanks for informing me. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. All right, perfect. Uh, Jennifer. Jessica Lourdes. I'm here, teacher. All right, Juan Carlos. I'm here. All right, thank you. Eunice. I'm here. All right, Luis Alejandro. Uh, Eunice, did you speak with Oscar? Eunice. Hi, Eunice. Repeat, please, teacher. Did you speak with Oscar Rodriguez? Did you speak with Oscar Rodriguez? Hablaste con Oscar? No. Ah, okay, I sent you the number. Ahí te, ahí te envié el número. Okay, uh, Eunice is present. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, about the, the, the what were you yes. talking about? Yes, I speak with. Okay, perfect. Maria Elena? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right, thank you. Nelson Gabarrete? Aquí. Roxana? Roxana, hello. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Wendy, Natalie? I am here. All right, thank you. Jesenia? 
Yesenia, and Jocelyn. Jocelyn? Thank you, teacher. All right, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Uh, so listen, um, I, will, I will show you a chart, J just a question quickly. Solo una pregunta rápidamente. Just a question quickly. Um, ¿Tienen las copias o tienen el material en digital? Si tienen las copias, muéstrenme las copias, por favor, del, man del manual. Si alguien tiene copias de la clase de hoy. I just want to see this. All right. One, two, three. Okay, almost half. Casi la mitad. All right, perfect. Los que no tienen van a tener que hacer la actividad en su cuaderno. Okay, so please do the activity on your note. Okay, let me show you. Déjenme mostrarles. Let me show you here. All right, listen. Uh, in this moment, you will go. Okay, hold on. Uh, you will go to breakout rooms. And using the activities you thought about, usando las actividades en las que pensaron, van a llenar este cuadrito. So it says interview a partner about his or her activities on a typical day at work, using information questions and prepositions of time. Pueden usar what? You can ask, uh, for example, you can ask, uh, podrían hacer la pregunta, you can ask the question, what duties do you perform in the morning or what duties do you perform in the afternoon or what duties or activities do you perform in the evening? Le voy a escribir la pregunta. I will, I will write the question, okay? <coughs> Sorry. So the question is, what duties you perform oh <laughs> I just okay perform what duties do you perform and then you say in the morning in the afternoon or in the evening, right? That's the equation, that's the model question. Esa es la pregunta que van a usar. I repeat, what duties do you perform in the morning? What duties do you perform in the afternoon? And what duties do you perform in the evening? And you take notes. Y después de eso, and after that, van a tomar notas. Sorry, you will take notes on this chart. Van a tomar notas en este cuadro. Si no tienen este cuadro, so you do it on your note. Lo hacen en su cuaderno. Example. Uh, I will give you one example. Okay, let's see. Um, Juan Carlos. What duties do you perform in the morning? I check uh, emails. Okay, hold on, hold on. Espérame un momento. So I write, escribo Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, right? In the morning. Y luego digo, he checks. I have no, no space here. here. No tengo suficiente espacio acá, pero ustedes sí lo van a tener. I check, he checks email. What else, Juan Carlos? Uh, I breakfast. I have breakfast, so I write he has breakfast y así. Okay? So I write Juan Carlos activities. Y luego le puedo preguntar a alguien más del equipo con el que van a trabajar. So le puedo, imagínense que yo estoy practicando con Juan Carlos y Luis Ricardo. So I ask Luis Ricardo. What activities do you perform in the afternoon? Luis Ricardo? Hi, Luis Ricardo. Uh, hi, 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 teacher. What activities? I send email yeah. in the afternoon. Okay, then I write Luis Ricardo, he checks email. Uh, in the I send. Okay, so the idea is to take notes. La idea es tomar notas, okay? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. I repeat the question. What duties do you perform in the morning? What duties do you perform in the afternoon? And what duties do you perform in the evening, okay? Tres compañeros diferentes. So let's make teams. Vamos entonces a hacer equipos. So is everything clear? Todo claro? La página no le dije, yeah. en la que está esa actividad. It's on page 38, 38, page 38, all right? Page 38. So are you ready? Let's go then. Take notes, please.
Eso. <risa> a mí me está fallando un poquito la inter, pero los escucho bien, solo que se me ha quedado de lado. Ok. Ok, empezamos entonces. Sí, eh, ¿quién comienza? Okay. Eh, por ser el caballero, único caballero. <risa> <risa> Qué galán, mire. <risa> <risa> ok. Vaya, entonces, comencemos. ¿Cómo hago? Yo pregunto, ¿a quién pregunto? Le pregunto a Loida. I don't know what I do in the hey. afternoon. Hey. But, uh, uh, what duties do you perform in the morning, Loida? I go to work. ¿Dónde? She go? Eh, you go? Solo una I duda. Go to work. Una duda tengo, compañeros. Eh, solo Juan I Carlos va a anotar las respuestas de la OIDA mm -hmm. o lo, to, todos los del grupo. Todo. Eh, good question. Si quiere. En teoría, todos. Los de... Deberíamos de. Sí, ¿verdad? I recommend everybody takes notes, all right? So because if not, you will have, you will spend a lot of time. Van a, van a estar demasiado tiempo. You will spend a lot of time, okay? So I recommend everybody takes notes, all right? So about Loita, everybody takes notes. And then if you ask Juan Carlos, everybody takes notes about Juan Carlos, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we two, two boys. In the group. Oh, With it. I'm just a listener. Okay. In the morning, what duty, duties do you perform in the morning, Loida? I have breakfast. I go to work. Eh, and I check email.
Any else? Did you me? I check the email. I check the email, I go to work, and I have breakfast. Um, sería revisar. Check. Este, pero sería revisar la ruta. Sería I have Pero ver. I prefer check the roads in the ¿Cómo es la Do you repeat la primera palabra? I I prefer check roads in the morning. Roads. You can say check, Jacqueline. Hello, sorry for the interruption. Jacqueline, you can say uh -huh. check. You can say check. Problem. I check. Okay. I check the, the route. The route. Route. Yeah, it's okay. You can say it. You can say that. Okay, uh, what do we do to perform in the afternoon? Um, I prefer to phone calls in the afternoon with calls, no, the customer, sería cliente, verdad? Yeah. Eh, repeat, please. Aquí hay una, un ruido de carro y casi no escucho. I prefer phone calls in the afternoon. No sería mejor. Uh, I take, I take phone calls. Jacqueline, what do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? What do you mean, Jacqueline? Eh, hacer las llamadas con los clientes. Oh, then you say make. No, oh, make. Oh, yes, make. I make phone calls. I make. Uh -huh. With the customer. Mm -hmm. The customer of in the afternoon. Or you can say directly, I call. I call customers in the afternoon. I call. Call the Yamar. C-A-L-L. -L, call. I call customers in the afternoon. You can say, yo llamo a los clientes. Okay, I call customers in the afternoon. I make call. I, no, I call. I make yeah. call. I call. I call customers in the afternoon. <clears throat> In the afternoon. Yeah, like this. I call. I call customers directly. Okay. I call customers in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Call. C A L. How do you, how do you say imprimir? Print. Mm -hmm. Print. Print. Okay. P R I N T. Print. I can't. Print. P R I N T. P R I N T. Print. 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 Yeah. Vaya, entonces quizás la última sería. I make bring roads. Maybe in this case you don't have to say make. Maybe you can say I print. I print routes in the afternoon. Okay. I print. Mm -hmm. 
es como as, no es necesario es, utilizar eso de, del make o el have en estos casos, simplemente no. solo la acción. Yes, only the verb. Solo el verbo que, al que te referís, only the verb, directly. I print wrote. Route, exactly. Route. Mm -hmm. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening is at about five or six, right? At about five or six is it's in the evening, all right? All right, carry on, continue, and carry on. Yes. De la que? Ah, sí. Okay. And checks merchandise. Embarazada. Del bicho aquel. Solo recuérdenme qué significa perform. ¿Cómo, cómo? Perform es desarrollar. ¿Cómo hacer? Desarrollar. What do you perform is like, ¿qué tarea desarrollas? Hazel. Yes. Uh, what duty do you perform in the afternoon? I I check merchandise and I receive food. You can say roots or routes. Roots is in British English, as in English Britannic or roots. In routes is in American English, as in English Americano. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you have the two options, okay. root or route. Root, route. Yeah. Okay. Creo que nos falta la de las ¿Quién, ¿Quién más está? Edgar. Eh, Can you repeat again, Nelson, please? Collection a man again. Collection. Eh, 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 lo que quiero decirle es este cuestión de cobro. La vez pasada sí me dijo el teacher que se decía collection de management. Ah, collection de management. Remember, Nelson, I'm here. <laughs> Remember, I said I make. You use the verb make. Usamos el verbo make. I make. Gestión de, 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 de qué era, o cobros, qué era lo que querías decir. De cobros. Cobros de. Gestión, eh, cobros. Gestión de cobros era, right? Sí. Ok. Cabal, de, sí. Habíamos dicho que era, I made charges management. I made charges management. Let me write it. Déjame escribirlo. Así habíamos dicho, me parece. Let me write it here. Ah. 
I may, I may charges management. Hago gestión de cobros. Okay? I may charges management. Okay? Creo que así habíamos dicho. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ah, ok. Hago gestión de cobros. I may charges management. Ok. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, what is it? Is correct uh, say he, uh, he make shopping? Is the correct? Oh. In this case, it's a do. Ah, que él va a hacer las compras. Ajá, do the shopping. I do the shopping or she does the shopping. Ah, that's... Does because it's third person, right? She does or he does the shopping. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Is Jesenia connected? Um, yes. Yes, okay. only say it's a... Only can listening because he oh, no, uh, he's driving, working. Out. Oh, he is out, 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 out. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yes, I got it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Jessica. What do you do? Duties do you perform in the night? In the evening only. In the evening, sorry. <laughs> Jessica, you microphone is off. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, in the evening, take a shower again. Um, I take dinner. I take a uh, uh, short relax. La primera, perdón, no le escuché. I check. I take take a shower again. Shower <laughs> again. I take dinner. Yeah, I take. I start a uh, short relax. No palpan todavía. In the evening, I take a shower again. I cook the dinner and I watch it, watch TV. Okay. I what? have class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. All right, I, everybody's coming back. Just get ready because, uh, get ready because uh, right now, now or in this moment, all right, um, some of you, algunos de ustedes, some of you will speak, will speak about your classmates' activities or your classmates' duties, all right? So you will share with us. Es momento de que compartan acerca de las actividades de sus compañeros. All right? So you will say he or she, right? Don't forget. For example, you will say, oh, um, I will give you one example. It's not true, right? But it's only the example, yeah? I can say, for example, um, Luis Ricardo checks email in the morning. Or, and he, I can say, or Luis Ricardo, whatever, okay, any of the two, cualquiera de los dos, any of the two, um, he uh, makes phone calls in the afternoon, you can say, right, and um, he checks uh, the machines, or he assembles machines in the evening, you can say. So, the idea is that you, that you, that me, that you speak about one classmate's activities, at least. Que hablen al menos de una, de un compañero, de las actividades de un compañero, de las tareas de un compañero, okay? So, are you ready? So, let's listen to Jenny first. 
Jenny, are you ready? Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm going to talk about uh, Jacqueline. Um, in the morning, she checks their roots. And in the afternoon, she makes phone calls. And Nancy, she attends phone calls in the morning. And also, she has meetings with colleagues in the afternoon. <laughs> Wendy, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. All right. I'm sorry, Wendy. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, Jenny. Uh, can you please select a classmate, a boy, please? Luis Ricardo. All right, Luis Ricardo, it's your turn. Okay, teacher. Um about uh, Edgar, Edgar check emails and checks merchandise. Uh, in the afternoon, he visits customers and sells different products. And in the evening, uh, Edgar have dinner with your parents, with her parents. With his parents, sorry, sorry. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Ricardo. So you can say uh, he has dinner, all right? He has dinner with has, his uh, family. He has, he has. With his family, all right? Thank you very much, okay? Uh, so, Mr. Ricardo, can you please select a girl? Una chica, a girl, please. Permíteme que no me puedo los nombres. Check the names, ahí se pueden ver. You can check there on, on participants. Ahorita, 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 ahorita. Y donde dice participants. Eh, María Elena Guadalupe. María Elena. Correcto. Hi. All right. Good evening. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, María Elena. Um, Wendy, in the morning, she teach a class. In the afternoon, teach private class. And the evening, she has English class. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Just one question, Maria Elena. You say she teach or she teaches? She teaches she private teaches. class. Uh -huh. She teaches class. All right. You say teaches. Teach is enseñar, right? But it's third person, it's tercera persona. So you say she teaches. Le agregamos eso. She teaches English class or math class or science class. All right. Thank you very much, Maria Elena. Can you please select a classmate? A boy, please. To make him a boy. Um, Nelson, you are the All next. Right. Okay, Nelson is next. Nelson, are you ready? Mr. Gabarrete, are you ready? Okay, there you go. Oh, hello, perdón, tenía apagado el micrófono. Eh, Yesenia. No, Jessica, perdón. In the morning, check a table, uh, check a break, check a story. Uh, in the afternoon, I check email, I check a parent, and I check a report. Y in the evening, I check shower away, I dinner, I check a relax. Okay, Mr. Gabrete, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Oh my God, you surprised me. You are speaking English. Oh my God, that's very good. Me sorprenden que todos están hablando como bien fluido. Everybody's speaking very fluent. All right, that's good. Eso es excelente. That's excellent. That's great. Okay, so now it's time for the next activity, not for the break, okay? It's time for the next activity, all right? So listen, for the next activity, I have two questions. So think about the answer for these two questions, all right? Have the answer because I will ask you this time. Esta vez yo le voy a preguntar así directamente. I will say Luis Ricardo and I will ask. Loida and I will ask. Roxana and I will ask you, okay? 
So be ready. Estén listos. Be ready. Question number one is, where do you work? Where do you work? And question number two is, where is it? Where is it? Yeah? Example, if you ask me, hey, teacher, where do you work? I say, oh, I work in San Francisco, Guatera. And then you say, and where is it? Donde está su lugar de trabajo? Or maybe you can, you can say the exact day. Tal vez podemos decir el, el, la, la empresa. Okay, mejor acá. If you ask me, teacher, uh, where do you work? And I say, oh, I work at Centro Escolar Colonia La Flores. Where is it? Donde está eso? Where is it? And I say, oh, it's in San Francisco, Gotera, Morazan. And he asked me, hey, teacher, where do you work? And I say, oh, I work at Universidad de Oriente. And then you ask me, and where is it? I, oh, I say, it's in San Miguel City. All right? Yeah, you got it? Se entiende? Yeah? All right, let's see. Let's listen to uh, Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, where do you work? I work Movie Plus. All right, where is it? It's uh, Ciudad Merliot. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's see um, Edgar. Hey, Edgar. How are you? Hi. Where do you work? Uh, I wear the casco of the safety company. All right. And where is it? It's in uh, La Libertad. It's in La Libertad. Okay. Thank you very much. That's excellent. All right, Loida. Hi, Loida. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Um, Higher. Exhausted. Okay. <laughs> All right, Loida. So, Loida, tell me. No, I sleep <laughs> two hours after the class. <laughs> I sleep two hours after the class. Oh my God, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so Loida, tell me, uh, where do you work? I work in, uh, no, at Colegio Cristiano Juan Benavides. Yeah. And where is it? It's in Santa Tecla. It's in Santa Tecla. La okay, Libertad. Thank you. All right, yeah. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen to um, Sarai. Hi, Sarai. Hi, Hazel, Sarai. Hi, teacher. All right, so tell me, uh, where do you work? I work in Benserva. All right, and where is it? It's in Escalón, San Salvador. All right, thank you very much, Hazel. Now you choose somebody and you ask the questions. Elige a alguien y le hace las preguntas. Choose somebody. Jacqueline. All right, ask her. Pregúntale. Hi, Jacqueline. Where do you work? Hi, Where is it? In the Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. Okay. okay, thank you, Hazel Sarai. Okay, Jacqueline, select someone and you ask the questions. Um, Jocelyn. All right, ask her. Pregúntale, ask her. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Jacqueline. Where do you work? I work in Grupo Miguel. What? I work Grupo Miguel. Ah, Grupo Miguel. No había escuchado. Siguiente pregunta. She's my mic. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Is is uh, um uh, uh, oh, yes, San Juan Pico, <laughs> La Libertad. Oh. 
Sí, San Juan pica la libertad. All right, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Jocelyn. Uh, so, Jocelyn, select someone. Okay. Uh, boys or here? <laughs> as you wish. Oh, el que yo quiera. Says, as you wish. Okay. Vamos a ver. Tenga paciencia, teacher, porque no lo veo a todos. Ah, Jessica. Okay, Jessica. Okay, go ahead. Ask her. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jocelyn. Uh, where do you work? I work at Fundación Educación y Cooperación. Where is it? And isn't uh, San Vicente? At San Vicente. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. San Vicente, San Miguel, y La Libertad. <laughs> oh my God! Different places. All right. Whoa. Thank you. Very, thank you very much. All right, Jessica, can you ask Roxana, please? Uh, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Jessica. Where do you work? I work in Muy Plus. Uh, what it's a... is it is in Ciudad Merlia, Santa Tecla. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Gracias. Thank you for, for sharing about where you work and the location of your workplace. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. Um, look. I have a question for you, a general question, all right? And I will ask the question in Spanish. From here, de acá, ¿quiénes alguna vez en su vida estudiando inglés han estudiado preposiciones de lugar, prepositions of place? Like next to, behind, between, on the corner, or, okay, Loida, one, Jenny Wright, two, ¿quién más? Well, okay, Hazel, two, Jocelyn, no, never, all right? All right, very good. Ah, Jessica, right. Okay, very good. So um, today we will study in a simple way how to speak about places, como hablar acerca de lugares, o donde están los lugares, but in a simple way, de una manera sencilla, in a simple way, all right, not complicated. Very good. Look, on the material, on the material, I have a map. Let me share here. In the en el manual, on the manual, we have a map. Tenemos un mapa. We have a, a map. So check it out. So we have this map. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, I didn't say the name of the unit. Uh, the, the, uh, the unit or unit number one is addresses and places. Addresses and places, all right? So let's see. Check the map, please. Veamos el mapa. Check the map. Check the map, please. All right, so here we have the map. On the map, we have different places. On place number one, we have bank. We have mall, restaurant, sport palace, park, arrows company, school, church, city hall, and book world. Right, book world. All right. With your microphone off, con su micrófono apagado, no lo enciendan. With your micro, with your microphone off, let's repeat the vocabulary. Okay, let's repeat the vocabulary, but with the microphone off. Vamos a repetir con el micrófono apagado. Okay. So let's do it. Hagámoslo. Let's do it. Bank. 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 Mall, mall, restaurant, 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 sport palace, sport palace, sport palace, park, park, arrows company, 
Arrows Company, Arrows Company, School, School, Church, 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 City Hall, City Hall, Book World, Book World, Book World. One more time, Bank, Mall, Restaurant, Sport Palace, Park, Arrows Company, School, Church, City Hall, Book World, Book World. All right, let, let me choose some here. Okay, let's see. Um, Ana Abigail, number one. Pronounce it, please. Bank. Good. Jennifer, number two. Mall. Very good. Maria Elena, number three. Restaurant. Very good. Nelson, number four. Sport Palace. Excellent. Let's see, uh, Rosana, number um, five. Park. Very good. Jocelyn, number six. Uh, Arrows Company. Arrows Company, very good. What is Arrows? What is Arrows Company? What is that? KSS, what is that? Arrows Company. What is Arrows? I don't know. Perdón? I don't know. Not Any no idea? Flechas. About flechas. flechas, exactly. Flechas. flechas, sorry. So Arrows Company is Compañía de Flechas. All right? Arrows Company. Y Arcos, probablemente, right? And Bowls, probably. Good. Let's, let's, let's go to the next. Okay, let's listen to um, Jacqueline and Seth. Next. Cool. Yeah. Cool, very it's good. Cool. Let's listen to um, M. Ah, Ember is only listener, Edgar. Sure. Church, very good. Um, Brenda. City Hall. City Hall or City Hall, very good. City, what is City Hall? Alcaldía. Exactly, exactly. City Hall is Alcaldía. Excellent, that's very good. All right, let's listen to the last one. Let's listen to um, Natalie. Natalie, number five. Good world. Good world. All right, that's very good. That's excellent. All right, now listen. I have some questions for you, all right? Let's see. Um, if I ask you, for example, hey, where is the mall? Where is the mall? You tell me it's on First Avenue. By now, only the street. Ahorita solo la calle, only the street. If I ask you, uh, where is the church? Okay, you say it's on Second Avenue. Where is the sports center? Ah, you can say it's on Barrios Street. Where is the restaurant? You can say, oh, it's on Roosevelt Street. You can say, right? Or where is the city hall? Ah, you can say it's on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue, right? Or maybe where is um, the bank? you say the bank is on various street, right? So only say the street or avenue. Por ahora solo vamos con la calle y la avenida. Only the street or avenue. You say on. On First Avenue, on Second Avenue, on Roosevelt Street, or on various street. Okay, let's listen. Let's listen to um, Hazel Sanay. Hazel, where is the Arrows Company? Hi, Hazel. Hi, teacher. Where is the Arrows Company? It's on Second Avenue on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. All right, very good. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen to um, 
Jessica Lourdes. Jessica Lourdes. And where is the church? The, the church is on uh, Barry Street on 2nd Avenue. On 2nd Avenue. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, together, juntos, look at the, oh, look at the places for a moment. Miren los lugares por un momento. Look at the places for a moment, please. And try to remember the location. E intenten recordar el lugar donde están. Try to remember the location, please. Okay, now let's roll down. I have some questions here. <clears throat> Question number one is, which street is the restaurant on? It's a uh, Roosevelt Street. It's on Roosevelt Street. It's on Roosevelt Street. Very good. It's on Roosevelt Street. Let's go and check, vamos a revisar. Yes, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. And on first avenue, you can say, right? Very good, thank you. Second question. Which street is the city hall on? It's a second avenue. It's on second avenue. It's avenue. on second avenue. Very good, thank you very much. Last question. Which street is the park on? It's a uh, First Avenue and it's on First Avenue. Avenue. Any other direction? Second Avenue. On Second Avenue, on Barrio Street, or in on Roosevelt Street, right? Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, now I will stop sharing. All right, so listen. I have a direct question, all right? Uh, a direct question, like direct question, Natalie. For a street, we use on, in, or at. Natalie, for a street, we use on, in, or at. The microphone, Natalie, the microphone. Natalie. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello. See? The question, okay. The question is for uh, for streets or avenues, you use on, in, or at. On. On. Perfect. That's very good. So for everybody, para todos, can I say I live in Roosevelt Street? Can I say that? Puedo decir eso. I live in Roosevelt Street. Is it okay? Está bien? No. Oh, I say. I live on Roosevelt Street. So the question for you now is, on which street do you live? On which street do you live? Or in which street do you live, sorry? In which street do you live? In which street do you live? In which street do you live? Any volunteers, voluntarios? You can say, I live on, and you say the street, yeah? In which street? I live on Calle Turrialba. Can you repeat it, please? I live on, I live on Calle Turrialba. Torre Alta. Do you hear me? Yes, Torre Alta. Uh, I will live Torre Alta, but I live on okay. Calle Turrialba. Oh, all right, you need to say street, do real the street. Can you repeat, okay. please? I live in do real the street. All right, that's better. Thank you very much. That's excellent, Juan Carlos. All right, who else? Thank you, Max. Who else? Teacher, una consulta. In my case, I live on principal street or street principal? On main street, on main street. Main Street. 
Main Street, you say Main Street. On Main Street, en la calle principal. I live on Main Street. Yes. Main. On Main, 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 main. Street. Yeah. Like a song on Main Street. Okay, so let's see. Anybody else, alguien más? Okay, let's see, Abigail. Where do you live? Or in which street do you live? I live on Havali Avenue. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer? Otro participante? Otro voluntario? Any other volunteer? Okay, let's see Brenda. And then Jocelyn. Brenda and afterwards Jocelyn. Brenda. I live on Tonacatepeque Street. Great, that's excellent. Okay, Jocelyn. I live on Main Street. Excellent, that's very good. Uh, Natalie. I live on 11th Street. On 11th Street, good, that's excellent. All right, anybody else? Alguien más que quiera hacerlo? Anybody else? Want? Okay, Loita. I live in, on San Jose Vienna Street. Oh, that's excellent. That's very good. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Now you can say the street you live in. Ahora ya pueden decir la calle en la que vive. Usando on, all right? On, using on. All right, that's very good. Uh, so it's nine already. Y ahora les quiero dar el retraso exactamente a las nueve. So it's nine. So let's take the two minutes break. Tomemos el retraso de dos minutos. Two minutes, right? Oh. Sorry, before, antes de, before, Rosana, querías compartir? Rosana, can, do you want to share? Teacher, si decimos el lugar donde vivimos, puede ser in. Por ejemplo, I live in los planes de renderos con kilómetro 3, que sé yo. Yes, yes, you can say, for example, I live in los planes de renderos on Main Street or on First Avenue. I live in los planes de renderos on First or Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. okay. All right, good. So let's go to the break. Vamos al receso. Two minutes, right? Two minutes, please. Let's go to the break. Vamos al receso. Two minutes. All right, let's come back, please. Two minutes are gone. Ya terminaron los dos minutos. The two minutes are gone. Let's come back, please. Regresemos. Let's come back.
Let's come back, please, everyone. Okay, uh, so uh, for the next part, so for this second part, we have the uses of the prepositions on in and at. The uses of the prepositions on in and at. And I will give you three more prepositions, okay? Next to, between, I repeat, next to, between, and I can give you behind, next to, between, and behind, all right? But first I will pass the attendance. Primero me paso su tense aquí rápidamente. Abigail? Abigail? All right, Brenda? I'm here. Edgar? I'm here. Uh, Ember? Yes, he's connected. He's only a listener today. Hey, Sasarain? I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you very much. Hey, Sasarain? Sarai? I saw Sarai connected. She's not connected right now. All right, let's see, uh, Jacqueline? <clears throat> Jacqueline, all right. Um, Jefferson. I'm here to share. All right, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here. Jessica Lourdes. I'm here, teacher. Juan Carlos. I'm here. Loide Eunice. Eunice. Is Eunice connected? I don't see her. Okay. Uh, Luis Alejandro is not connected. Luis Ricardo? Ricardo? Yeah. Hi, Ricardo. Are you there, Maria Elena? I'm here. I'm here. All right, Maria Elena. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Nelson? I'm here. Rosana. Well, Rosana, no está, ¿verdad? Okay. Wendy, Natalie. I am here. Yesenia. Yesenia tampoco está, okay. And Josie. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you very much. All right. So as I said, uh, for this part, we have the uses of the prepositions on, in, and at. Now I want you to see this. I want you to look at to look at this. <clears throat> okay, listen. Uh, first, we have. Okay. All right. First, we have the preposition on. Now, if you check, we have on. We have on, for example, we have on first on 4th Avenue. You can say on 2nd Avenue, on 3rd Avenue, on 5th Avenue, on 6th Avenue, right? On the corner, on the corner. What is on the corner? What is on the corner? On the corner is an esquina. So remember this vocabulary. Recuerden esto porque ya lo vamos a usar. On the corner, okay? On, on the corner on 4th Avenue. And we have finally on the street. On the street. So we use on for avenues, streets, and for the corner. On the corner, okay? On the corner. Let's look at the next. Veamos el siguiente. Let's look at the next. So in the next, we have in. So as you can see, we have in for places, para lugares mayormente, in El Salvador. You can say in Nicaragua, in Mexico, in the United States, in Chile, in Peru, in Honduras, right? In San Salvador. You can say in San Salvador, in La Libertad, in San Miguel, in Morazán. You can say in the park, in the park, okay? And you can say 
in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. In what is neighborhood? It is neighborhood. In this case, maybe we can say in la colonia, right? So the la colonia is your neighborhood. Esa es su vecindad, basicamente, in your neighborhood, okay? So in the neighborhood. So we have in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Okay, let's look at the next. Veamos el siguiente. Let's look at the next. The next one is at. Look at this. Miren, miremos esto. Look at this carefully. Miren lo cuidadosamente. Look at this carefully. So you can say, for example, uh, you can say um, at, at the meeting room. At the meeting room. You can say at the office. All right? You can say at the dining room. Yeah, at the living room. Yeah? Good. You can say at work. En el trabajo, right? At work. And you can say at the bank, at the bank. Now there's something important here. Aquí hay algo importante. Cuando usamos at the bank, de, esa, ese, ese artículo de, at the bank, you know the place. Ya sabemos qué banco es. We know the place, all right? Ah, you say, hey, where are you? Oh, I am at the bank. Pero ya se sabe más o menos qué banco es, okay? You know which bank it is. But, pero si yo digo, at a bank, at a bank, en un banco. So it can be any bank. Aquí puede ser cualquier banco, at a bank. Okay? Oh, you say, I saw you at a bank. Ni sabía cuál banco era, right? At a bank. Yeah? So that's important. Esas pequeñas diferencias son importantes. At a bank, at the bank. So at the bank, you know which bank. At a bank, probably you don't know which bank. Probablemente no sabemos qué banco, yeah? So at, at the middle room, at work, at the bank, at the office, uh, you can say maybe at the restaurant, at different places, right? Diferentes lugares. Okay, now I stop and I say, do you have any question about this? Tienen alguna pregunta de esto? Do you have any question about this? What is different in sorry Juan because uh, what is different in in at or place I see places in uh -huh. two okay so the difference between in and at is that in is more specific in is como más específico it's more specific right and at is like more general es un poquito más general el at right? Mm -hmm. that, that could be a little difference. For example, if you say in El Salvador, so you are being specific. In the park, you are being specific. In San Salvador, you are being specific. In the neighborhood, you are being specific. But if you say like in general, at the middle room is a little bit more general. It's un poquito más generalizado. It's a bit more general. Pero mayormente la diferencia que le dice entre at, o a veces, or sometimes, cada uno Mayormente el ad. Okay, oh, sorry. Yeah. Mayormente el ad, mostly ad, ya tiene algunos. Oh my God, what's going on? Mira, mira. Mayormente el ad, ok. El ad ya tiene algunas palabras que lo siguen normalmente. At work, eso no se puede cambiar en cualquier contexto. At work, right? Mostly this, or at school, for example. Eso no se puede cambiar. So you say at school. Right? It's impossible. Yeah. Yes, Juan Carlos, is it clear or kind of clear? Okay, very good. So, um, repeating the explanation on for streets or avenues in or places like El Salvador, San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, at for rooms or work or school or at the bank. Cuando es un poquito general, when it's a little bit general. All right. Now, two things. Dos cosas antes de que practiquemos. Two things before we, we practice. All right, look. I have this here. Let me, let me minimize this. Okay. What is next to? 
What is next to? A la par de. Al lado de o a la par. For example, I can say. Uh -huh. right, Al lado de or a la par. Okay, so I have a box here. So you can say a la par. Okay, next to. Next to. What is? What is between? Atrás. Entre. Entre. What is between? Entre. Entre. Entre, entre o en medio. You can say entre or en medio. So that is between. So that is between. All right. So between here. So I can say, he is between the boxes. Él está en, en medio de las cajas. He is between the, the boxes. All right. Next to and between. Next to and between. Okay. Perfect. So um, now let's see. Let's see here. Uh, Juan Carlos. We use on. For Avenue. We use on for uh, uh, directions. For directions. Street. Yeah. For streets uh, and avenues. And avenues. And corners. And corners. That's right. On the corner. And I assume that right. On the corners. For streets, avenues, and on the corner. Okay, on the corner. Thank you very much, Carlos. All right, let's see. Um Ricardo. Can you activate your microphone, Ricardo, please? Okay, Ricardo. I share, yes. In, we use in for? Uh, places. For places. Give me some examples, please. For places. Give me some examples. For example, Dame algunos ejemplos. Uh, in El Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood, yeah, in the park. Can I say in San Miguel? In China. In China, yeah, in China. In San Miguel. In San Miguel. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Luis Ricardo, thank you very much. All right, let's see, um, Rosana. Microphone. We use at for? Mm, the um, place. For places. For example, the bank, the At park, the, uh -huh, the ¿cómo se dice? High city, high city, city hall. At the city hall, very good. Can I say uh, at work? At work, or, um, at work, city. is it okay? Yes, at yes, work. City. Yeah, at work, it's okay. Very good. Okay, thank you very much, Roxana. All right, now is your time to work. I explained too much. Creo que ya expliqué demasiado. I explained too much, all right? Now is your time. Now look, together, juntos, together, let's solve this. Resolvamos esto juntos. Let's solve this together. Oh my God, I don't know what is. All right, let's see. This is on page 40, so it's on la página 40. So let's complete with the correct preposition, all right? Number one, I work in the bank that is on, on, on in, or at. On, first, on, on exactly. On. I work in the bank that is on First, on first Avenue. Avenue and Barrios Street. Street. Exactly. Very good. That's excellent. What I was telling you, lo que les decía, miren, aquí aparece in the bank. In the bank. Y si se fijan, este in está más específico porque ya sabemos qué banco es. Estoy especificando. ¿Dónde está ese banco? Ah, on First Avenue. So, uso in porque ya estoy siendo más específico. Okay, so that's the difference. Esa es una pequeña diferencia entre in y at. All right? Good. Number two. Their factory is located in on or at. In. 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 In la libertad, exactly. In la libertad. Si tienen ahí el manual, vayan completando. Go completing, all right? Number three. We see you. Room. At, at training room. 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 At, seems at, at, at the training, training room. room or? In the cafeteria. In the cafeteria. At. Tenemos de. 
right? Or at the cafeteria, at, okay? At the cafeteria. the cafeteria. Porque debe, debe, debe concordar, okay? So we see you at the training room or at the cafeteria. Very good. For rooms, para rooms, of, uh, para rooms dijimos que era at, right? Let's at. see number four, at, exactly, at. Anna works in the company that is? In. In. At. Um. So is at. in or at? No. In town. In. Okay, the am. In the town. ¿Quién dice, levanten la mano los que dicen in? In town. Así, levanten la mano los que dicen in town. In the town. In town, all right. In town, good. Ahora levanten la mano los que dicen a town, at. A at. town. Now, uh. ahora los que no están seguros. <laughs> all right, very good. Okay, yeah, it's in, in town. Okay, in town. It's like saying in the city, all right? In town, okay, in, in town. Right? So, le voy a compartir otra vez. Let me share again. It's in town, okay? In town. All right, let's see number five. Numero cinco, number five. My relatives go to the mall that is? Um, on, on Roosevelt Street. Exactly, on Roosevelt Street, on. The last one, number six. Uh, Tell him that we are. <laughs> just ahí. Ah, ya está ahí. At. At. Exactly. Ahí. Oh, ahí le dio la respuesta. Okay. At. Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Everybody. Okay. Very good. So now, question for you. Question for you. Serious question. Okay. Serious question. ¿Cuánto tiempo se tardan para hacer un mapa de ese lugar? ¿Cuánto tiempo creen que se tardan más o menos para hacer un mapa de ese lugar? ¿Sorry? De, de trabajo de acá. ¿Tres horas? Oh, my God. Sí. Now then. Ok, ¿cuánto tiempo, Jessica? How much time? ¿De la casa o el trabajo? Ya, yeah, de, la, de la casa. About your house. Where you live or where you work, it doesn't matter. Uh, una hora. No, 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 thank you very much. Okay, no me arriesgo mejor. <laughs> I don't risk myself. All right, but <laughs> just in case I had a map. Un mapa caso, de alrededor. En todo, en todo caso, just in case I had a map. En todo caso, mejor traía un mapa para, 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 para como segunda opción. Also, second option. But let's see the second option. So listen. Easy. And simple. In this moment, we will go to breakout rooms. In breakout rooms, you will practice the following question. Where is? Where is? Now let me show you the map. Using this map, yeah, this map, using this map, you will ask the question, where is? Do you see the map? Pueden ver el mapa, do you see the map? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So you will use the question, where is? But be specific. Use next to, on the corner, or behind. Next to, on the corner, or behind. For example, imagine I ask you. All right. So um, where is the parking lot? Where is the parking lot? How you say, oh, the parking lot. Mm, you say, it's on Maple Street and Main Street. Mm -hmm. It is behind, yeah, you can say behind the movie theater. Behind or next to the movie theater, right? Here, behind or next to the movie theater. Then I ask you. Hey, where is the Chinese restaurant? The Chinese restaurant. You say, oh, the Chinese restaurant. Mm, it's on Maple Street. Between, dijimos que between era en medio, right? It's on Maple Street. Between the bank and the bookstore. Between the bank 
and the booster. Yeah. Next, next example. I say, hey, where is the drugstore? La farmacia, where is the drugstore? Oh, you say the drugstore. Mm, let me see, déjame ver, let me see. Oh, it's on the corner, it's on the corner of Main Street and Maple Street. It's on the corner of Main Street and Maple Street. Next to the public restroom, you can say next to the public restroom. Yeah. Clear? Se entiende más o menos qué van a hacer. It's only speaking, solo hablado. Yeah. So pueden usar next to, between, pueden usar behind, or on the corner. Yeah. Good. I will give you around 15 minutes to practice. Le voy a dar alrededor de 15 minutos para que vayan y pregunten, se pregunten. So you ask questions to each other. Yeah. ¿Le quieren hacer una captura del mapa? Yes. Yeah. ¿Le quieren hacer una captura del mapa? Ok, I will, I, will, I will project. Se lo voy a proyectar ahorita para que le hagan una captura. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Sí. Yes, Loida. No I don't remember. I don't remember cómo se escribe behind. Be... Okay. Behind es detrás de, right? Behind. Mm -hmm. Behind. Behind. Behind is detrás de, right? Behind. So you can use behind too. También pueden usar behind. Okay, le voy a poner el mapa para que hagan un screenshot si quieren. Oh, make a screenshot if you wish. Pueden hacer un screenshot. Teacher, what does mean on the corner en la esquina? Yes, on the corner en la esquina. Puede ser on the corner of, y dicen otra calle, on the corner of Main Street and Davis Street, for example. Mm -hmm. Next to that, be specific, sea muy específico, be specific, please. ¿Cómo iba, ¿Cómo iba a hacer la pregunta? Where is? Where is the swimming pool? Where is the bookstore? Where is the grocery store? Where is the movie theater? Where is the newsstand? Where is <laughs> blah blah blah? Yeah. Where is? Okay. So let's go to practice. Vamos a practicar entonces. Let's go to practice. Time is go. Hola. Vas al room 5, Jocelyn. ¿Aceptaste? Vas al room 5. ¿Cómo? Vas al room 5, te digo. Mm, ¿No, te ha parecido la, que... ¿No te ha parecido la opción de, de moverte al, al room 5? No.
teacher. Hello. Eh, a mí de vez no me apareció la opción, o sea, como yo me conecto en dos dispositivos, me apareció en la compu, pero como yo me conecto en el celular. Ok, déjame revisar. Pero para saber en cuál es que estás. Es que creo que le estaba tomándole una captura, creo, a la pantalla, creo que ahí fue donde quizás. Ah, ok. Ya te voy a reubicar ahorita. ¿Te está apareciendo? Gracias. ¿Ya? No. No parece nada. Okay. No. Give me a, hold on. Nada, Nelson. No, nada, teacher. Ok, give me a moment. Es que el de, yo, me gustaría reubicarte, pero no sé con cuál dispositivo que está. Como los dos me aparecen lo mismo. Y me aparecen dos Nelson. ¿En Eso, cuál aparece? Eh, ¿En cuál quieres que te mueva? Eh, ¿En, el, eh, ¿En el que eh, dice Nelson Gabarrete? No, es que los dos dicen Nelson Gabarrete me dijo. Dame el mismo dicen los dos. Sí, ese es el detalle. That's the problem. Vaya. Pero en uno es que no tengo audio, porque si no le pongo audio, solamente le pongo al celular donde estoy compartiendo. Sí, la uso, la uso. Ah, veamos, voy a intentar. Ahora, okay. ¿se parece a la opción? Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Okay. Hoy sí. Red card. No. What is the swimming pool? Swimming pool. The beach. What is swimming pool? Pool. Um. Um. Es. Ahí no veo la calle. Um, next to a um, drug drugstore. Drugstore, uh -huh. Drugstore, uh -huh. In, um, Pues no. Tiene uh -huh. nombre la Yes, it's the same. Apple. Apple. On Apple. Apple. On Apple. Apple Street. Ah, uh, Maple Street. Okay. On on Maple Street. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Where is the travel agent? Travel. Let me see. Travel. Okay. Um, on the street, David. Um, um, next to a Italian restaurant or behind? behind? Next to, I think that. Uh, next to Italian res restaurant. Mm -hmm. High post office. What the what can you repeat the, the last one? Okay. Um come on the class behind 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 the, behind the post office. Mm. No está atrás. No. no está a la par. No.
police. Okay, Jenny, what is... <laughs> Yo no las escucho. What is Newton? New... Si alguien tiene la imagen, puede compartirla. Para que se les, se les haga fácil. Pueden compartir la imagen para que lo estén viendo todos. So everybody can, can look at it. I don't think the chair screen. If you wish, I, I, think, I can. I, I think Natalie is sharing. Ahí les ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, so everybody sees, para que todos vean. So everybody sees, all right? Thank you, Natalie. <clears throat> ¿Qué se hizo la chica, la otra? Se desconectó, creo. Se desertó. Creo que se fue para otro equipo. <risa> la, la, sí. Más bien la mandé para otro equipo. Sorry. Sorry about Entonces, that. Está bien. Where is the music store? The music store. Yes. Quiero ver dónde está. Ahí está. Um, sería It's on... The David Street uh, between and Payphone in Newstown. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can say between uh, between the Payphone and the Newstand. Yeah, Payphone Newstand, right? Yeah. Yes. Between, between the payphone and the newsstand. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. 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 Roxana, where is the swimming pool? It's in the Maple Strip. And next to drug, drug store. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? The drugstore. Next to the drugstore. Next to the drugstore. Yeah. Okay. Um, Natalie, what is the Chinese restaurant? Chinese restaurant. Uh, in the Maple Street. Uh, be, uh, Berlin. Okay. Teacher, ya. Yeah. Eh, ¿Cómo se tendría que responder, por ejemplo, cuando yo quisiera decir, voy a compartir el, 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 el mapa que usted mandó? Please, please, por favor, please. Vaya, por ejemplo. Vaya, por ejemplo, si yo quisiera decir. Eh, que el restaurante está entre el banco y el bookstore, eh, ¿cómo tendría que decir? Tendría que ser um, on Maple Street between uh, at bank at bookstore, ¿o cómo? Yeah, it's okay, but you say the, between the, before places you say the, antes de los lugares que están acá vamos a decir the, 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 the. so you say uh, the Chinese restaurant is between the bookstore and the bank. The ah, okay. Between the bookstore okay, okay. and the bank. Or next to y, the bank. Y cuando se utiliza el next to, siempre es de, se yeah. va a agregar el de. Yeah, next to the grocery ah, store. Okay. Next to the drugstore. The. Mm -hmm. oh. Ok, eso, eso es lo que, lo que tenía duda. Yeah, that's important. Mm -hmm. Oh, en el caso... Si deja la pantalla, enter. Give the screen like that. Ok. Mm. Abby iba a preguntar algo. Sí, en el caso de Post Office, está a la par del Italian Restaurant. Aquí es el entonces, Hola. Tendría que decir next to... Entonces, la respuesta sería um, It's post office on Main Street and Italian restaurant. Next, 
next to. Es que está en la calle Main. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, Abby. Uh, Abby, listen. You say um, you say you can say it's or the post office, right? You can say. Uh -huh. If I ask uh -huh. you, uh, Abigail, where is the post office? Then you say it's like it is, como el it is. It's on Main Street. On Main Street, next to the Italian restaurant. Next to the Italian restaurant. Next, okay. Uh -huh. No iría. Um, es... O sea, solo sería post office on Main Street. Eh, next, de un solo. Ah, next to the Italian restaurant. Ne Ok, ok, ok. Y okay, realmente, I think it's next to the mailbox. Creo que realmente está next to the mailbox. Porque ahí está la mailbox. Ah, yeah. Ah, sí, sí. No la había visto. Ah, entre, entre el, 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 el Italian restaurant, between the Italian restaurant and the post office, we have the mailbox, I guess. Bueno, pero ese mailbox está ahí como agregado, right? Así afuera. Ok, ya yeah, say next to. It's ok. Next to the Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Uh, teacher, and the question uh, is, where is the where place? Is, where is the Italian restaurant? Where is the truck store? Where is the park? Where is? Simple question. Okay, keep practicing. See, I'm practicing. Keep practicing. Okay. Okay. Lente. Or is in the corner Maple Street. Maple Street. Uh, next to Chinese restaurant. Okay. Maybe one can share screen. Tal vez alguien puede compartir el mapa para que lo estén viendo. Maybe one can share like the map. Okay. ¿Quién no puede compartir? Who can share the map? Ahí donde dice share screen. Ahí donde dice share screen, ahí pueden compartir el mapa. Share screen. Share screen. Share screen. Share screen. You see? ¿Puedo sería uh -huh. compartirlo al WhatsApp? En la pantalla. No sé si ya lo puede. No, yo en la pantalla no lo puedo compartir. <risa> lo puede, no sé si lo puede ver, Nelson. Espérenme. Déjenme salirme porque yo, es que yo lo me salí porque lo tenía en, el, en una captura de pantalla de mi cel. Ahí lo tenía, pero me voy a volver a entrar nuevamente. Sí, ya lo tengo. Uh, where is it, Nelson, the drugstore? Vuelvame a repetir, perdón. Where is it the drugstore? <laughs> ah, the doctor. Eh, sí, eh, in Dice Shrip, obviamente, y ahí donde dice Amapol, que es en la misma posición de la calle. Ajá, uh -huh, exactamente. It's on Maple Street, behind Swim People. Swimming People, perdón. Swimming People. Pool, perdón. Swimming Pool. Y así ahí en la boca del People. <laughs> Ay, ahorita ya no me que... <laughs> Ya no me que. En el swim pool, ¿verdad? 
Con Canati veo los carritos. <risa> Vaya, ¿quién más? Hazel. What is the travel agent? No. It's on David Street. Yeah. In front of grocery store. Where is the payphone? Payphone. It's on David Street. It's next to the bank. Mm -hmm. Or between music store or band. Mm -hmm. Or between, uh -huh. There's one, one thing that is important. Uh, sorry for the interruption. I know you're practicing. Look, uh, when you use prepositions, you use the before the place. Usamos el de antes del lugar. For example, you can say, the payphone is between the bank, the, the bank and the music store. Or maybe you can say uh, the travel agency is next to the, the restaurant. Esa T H es importante. That T H E is important. Yeah, the, next to the restaurant. Ese de antes del lugar. Next to the restaurant. Next to the public restroom. Next to the drugstore. Next to. All right? Okay. Yeah, okay. that's important. That's very important. Okay, continue, 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 please. Okay, teacher. Where is the park? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Sí, ya practicamos. Are you practice a lot? I will ask you questions, okay. entonces. Le voy a hacer preguntas. Si decimos. Sorry? <laughs> Si decimos una pregunta. Okay. Perfect. Una pregunta. Por ejemplo, si decimos. Sorry. Sería between music store. Si decimos eh, de. Oh. Sorry, Roxana, I don't hear you. Si decimos. Between music store and bank or at the bank? No. Between, you say, in this case, you say the between the music store and the bank. And bank. And the, the bank. Between the, the music store and the, the bank. Yeah. And the bank. And the bank. Got it. Okay. And the bank. Yeah. Okay. Pregúntenos, teacher. Don't worry. We have only five seconds. Ya vamos de regreso. We are going back. All right, everyone. Okay, so I guess everybody practice, right? You practice a lot. You practice a lot, I know. Just some important things. Okay, just some important things. Solo una cosa importante. Listen. When you give directions, it's important to say the. Es importante decir the antes del lugar. The. T-H-E. Esa T-H-E. That T-H-E. For example, you don't say, no decimos, um, it is next, um, what? Next to bank. It is next to bank. No. We say it is next to the, the bank. Ese de antes del lugar. Next to the bank. Or maybe you can say, the mailbox or the payphone, the payphone is between the bank and the restaurant. The, ese de antes del lugar es importante, okay? That's very important, okay? Very good. So we have 12 minutes for the last activity. Tenemos 12 minutos para la última actividad. 12 minutes for the last activity. And on the last activity, in la última actividad, on the last activity, you will work in pairs. Van a trabajar en parejas. You will work in pairs. Okay? 
the idea is that you make a conversation. But in this conversation, you need to recycle vocabulary. Necesitan reciclar vocabulario. Questions, vocabulario que hemos estudiado, any vocabulary, okay? For example, I'm, uh, it just comes to my mind. Oh, pero al final deben ag agregar, you must add, deben agregar lo de preguntar dónde trabaja y la dirección del lugar donde se trabaja, right? But in real life, ya en, en la vida real, en un contexto real, in a real context. Yes? Donde trabaja, where do you work? Puede ser ya casi finalizando la conversation. Where do you work? Y puede ser where is it? ¿Dónde está eso? Ah, oh, it's on Main Street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you give the, the, the address. Y dan la dirección, ¿ok? ¿Cómo ah. podría quedar? For example, you can say, Hey, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Oh, how are you today? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. And you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Are you the supervisor of the company? Okay, you can see, right? Are you the supervisor of your company? Oh, you say, no, I'm not. I am the, the manager of the company, podría ser, or I am the a worker in the company. No sé qué van a decir ustedes, I don't know. Okay, it's your information. And you say, oh, very good. And what's your name? My name is Bernardo Martinez. Oh, nice. And where do you work? I work at Centro Escolar Colonia La Flores. And you say, and where is it? Ah, you say, it's in San Francisco Otera on the Main Street. On Main Street, sorry, on Main Street. Yeah. So, la idea es que reciclemos vocabulario, tanto como puedan. ¿De cuánto tiempo más o menos quieren hacer la conversación? Negociamos. Let's negotiate. Negociamos. One minute. One minute. <ríe> no, come on. Tú stingy. Anda muy tacaños. Tú stingy. <ríe> Two minutes. Two minutes. Two. Two minutes. Ok. Hagan Two. un cálculo más o menos que la conversación les quede como de dos minutos. Hay two minutes. Ok. Vamos a trabajar diez minutos ahorita. Ten minutes. Hasta donde logren llegar, si sienten que antes de esos 10 minutos, en 8 minutos, ya se les está acabando el tiempo, ahí tratan de cerrar la conversación, ¿ok? But the idea is to finish. La idea es que la terminen, ¿ya? Yeah? And to practice. ¿Ok? Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 people connected. 17, ¿ok? I will make pairs right now. Ahorita vamos a hacer pareja. Sí, veamos. Yeah, it's okay now. All right, let's go to work. No, are you married? What? Are you married? Yes. Okay. Pero muy corta va. No voy a ir anotando. Ah. 
Vamos a ver. Quiero ver cómo se eso. Para preguntar en qué trabajas, pero eso quizás ya de último, ¿verdad? No, está bien. Sí. What are you doing? Sería, do you work at the school? Yes, I do. Um, para decir que si ¿sí eres profesora. Uh, are you a teacher? Are, are you the teacher? Are you a, te uh -huh, a teacher? Oh, are you the teacher? Uh -huh. No, I'm not the teacher. Okay. I am a principal. Okay. La voy a anotar, Luisa. Tranqui. <laughs> okay. Um, where okay, Abigail. Do you work? In the school. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in your work? What are you doing in your work? I, what are you doing? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do or maybe what duties do you perform? The, the, the question at the beginning, la pregunta al no. principio. No, yo quiero saber qué hace, eh, no de acción, sino a lo que se um, dedica. What do you do? What, what do you do? do? Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, soy, ¿cómo sería? I am. I am. Uh, I am assistant logistic. Logistics Sorry. assistant. I am a logistic okay. assistant. I am a logistic assistant. Exactly. Okay. Uy, se nos quedó ahí. Abigail, where do you work? Cooperación. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, fundación. Educación, educación y cooperación. Y cooperación, ¿cómo se, cómo, cómo se dice? Cooperation. Cooperation. Mm -hmm. Foundation Education and Cooperation. And Cooperation, así va. Is it an ONG or what, Jessica? Jessica, is it an ONG? Your workplace, tu lugar de trabajo. Es una ONG, is it an ONG uh -huh. or what? Can you, repeat, can you uh -huh. repeat the name? Okay. Es... Yo le pregunto. Ah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es como, eh, I work in ONG, eh, educa eh, es como educo, uh -huh. educación, fundación, educación y cooperación. Ok, very good, yeah, it's okay. Uh -huh. you, you can, I think in this case, maybe you can say it in Spanish, because it's a proper noun, es un nombre propio. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. You can say it in Spanish, maybe. Uh -huh. Ok. Sería, yo trabajo en Fundación Educación y Operación. Y, co y cooperación. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cooperación. Y teacher, así, así coopera, cooperación. Ajá. Uh -huh. In English. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can say uh, cooperation. Cooperation. Cooperar. Pero no lleva doble, doble O. Cooperation. Cooperation. Oh my God, no, no, I doubt. Ahora estoy en duda. Let me see, déjame ver, let me see. I know yeah. it's the pronunciation is cooperation, but let me okay. check, let me check. Okay. 
Yeah, double logo, double logo. Cooperation. Ajá, cooperation. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. No, no problem. <coughs> Sorry, no problem. Okay. Uh, Entonces, dice Jessica, I work at Foundation, 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 foundation Education and Cooperation. cooperation. Uh -huh. Okay. And y después. Uh, uh, Jocelyn, where do you work? Um, I work eh, Grupo Miguel. She o si lo quisiera decir en inglés sería Michael. Michael, Michael Grupp. Don't translate it. Don't translate it. It's a proper noun. It's a proper noun. Es un nombre propio. It's a proper noun. Nombre propio. Entonces, you say Grupo Miguel. Grupo Miguel. Mm -hmm. uh, I work Grupo Miguel. Yeah. I work at Grupo Miguel at. I work at Grupo Miguel. Yeah. I work with, uh -huh. Vaya, entonces respondo y luego puedo preguntar. Ajá. Eh, uh -huh. um, what, what, what are you? Así sería, ¿qué haces? What? What, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? What, what, what do, do you do? do? What do you do? Okay. What do you and sería y, y qué haces? Um, and you work. Así. Ah, no. Sería, what do you work? What do, eh, eh, para preguntarle you... qué haces en tu trabajo. Uh, what do you do at your workplace? At your workplace. What do you do at your workplace? <clears throat> at your workplace. Yeah, at your workplace. Workplace. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. All right. My Jessica. Okay. Y ya con eso creo que me dices lo que haces y luego te digo yo y te cortamos porque Ajá, ya. Y luego lo. lo... Ajá. Okay. Sí, ya, I ya check the mail. Ajá. I check the mails. I take a phone call. I check a report every day. Every day. And by Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Sí, entonces solo te digo. Bueno, solo te digo. Okay. Te digo. Eh, wow, impresionante. Ajá. ¿Cómo puedo poner impresionante? Impresionante. Ah, como... We took more time than expected, right? Creo que tomamos más tiempo del que esperábamos. We took more time than expected. Did you finish? Terminaron? Did you finish? Yeah. Loidan, Brenda, Abigail, did you finish? Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, can, can you please do me a favor? Can you please do me a favor? Pueden hacerme un favor, do me a favor, please. If you finished, 
Si terminaron, pónganme una manita así levantada, como siempre. So I see who finished. Para ver quién terminó. So see who finished. Quickly, please. Go to reactions, raise hand. Reactions, raise hand. Raise hand. Okay, los que terminaron. The ones who finished. Please, reactions, raise hand. Para los que recién se van conectando, vayan a reactions. Y si terminaron la conversación, pongan una hand así. Raise hand, please. Los que terminaron, raise your hand. Like this. The majority. La mayoría. Jennifer, did you finish? Oh my God. All right. Uh, ¿Quién más? Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, Nelson didn't finish. Nelson tampoco. And Jocelyn. Uh, Jennifer, who's your teammate? ¿Con quién vas tú? Jennifer. Okay, let's see. Um, Nelson, ¿quién es tu compañero? Who is your teammate? Hola, hola. No, no puedo poner esta manita, pero este... Uy, se me olvidó el nombre. Jessica o Yesenia, algo así. No sé cuál es. Ok, ¿terminaron? ¿Did you finish? Yes. Ok, perfecto. Um, Jessica, ¿quién es tu teammate? Who is your teammate? ¿Quién es tu compañero? Sí. Uh, mi compañera es eh, Jocelyn. ¿Terminaron? ¿Did you finish? Yes. Ah, ok, todos terminaron entonces. Yesenia y Nelson también, right? Ok, very good. Ok, thank you very much. Now listen. Tomorrow you will present to the class. Mañana van a presentar a la clase. You will present to the class tomorrow. Ok, listen. It's time. Es hora, ya nos pasamos cinco minutos. Eh, bueno, solamente agradecer siempre por estar conectados. Eh, me, me agrada muchísimo que sigan con esa energía de estar siempre conectados y aprender un poquito más, ¿verdad? Y... Yo no lo dudo en ningún momento que hard work pays up. El trabajo duro se recompensa. Hard work pays up. Y yo sé que todos hacen un gran esfuerzo en estar conectándose cada día, ¿verdad? De lunes a viernes. Yo sé que ya han cansados y a veces solo ya han ganas ya de ir a la camita, pero están haciendo este esfuerzo y yo sé que en su momento van a tener la recompensa de este esfuerzo, ¿ok? Así que okay, muchas gracias. Gracias. Motivarles a hacer la tarea, ¿ok? Así que vamos a hacer las tareas siempre. A final de esta semana tenemos, eh, tenemos examen, recuerden, so please do the exam. Y para las, para las, eh, las, las private sessions, el día de hoy tenemos a Eunice, así que Eunice se queda si puede. Eh, mañana tenemos a Nancy, miércoles Wendy, jueves Araí y viernes Nelson, ¿ok? So thank you everybody. Thank you for coming. Solo una pregunta. Y el que iba a hacer la pregunta. Dígame Nelson. Dime Nelson. Eh, y el que le tocaba ayer no se va a mover eso. Por lo que no se hizo clase sí, ayer. Sí, a mí me tocaba ayer y me voy no, ahora. Le correspondí ayer. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. ok, ok. So thank you everybody. Good night. Gracias. Pasen thank you. Good night. 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 Good night, everyone. Good night, take care. Okay, Eunice. Y todavía está la manita levantada. Le voy a esta, esta hay que bajarla. Ok. Cada uno okay. tiene que hacerlo. I'm all ears. Estoy todo oído en este momento. Okay. I'm all ears in this moment. Nelson. Sí. No me puedo salir. Ah, ok, perfecto. Perfecto. Perdón, ahorita. Ahorita. Yeah, okay. Perdón, perdón. No, no hay problema. No problem. Ok. Nada. He's out. Ok, ok, Unice. So this is for you. Any doubt you have, any question you have, anything about pronunciation, grammar, English, and if I don't know, I investigate, okay? Yeah, but this is your time. Okay. This is for you. Este paso es para ti. Okay, dear. I put it the... Yo puse un ojito, pero en las hojitas. Mm -hmm. Como ya se me había olvidado que a mí me tocaba, no lo busqué. Is a good technique. But the first, I have, I have a question. <laughs> okay, get away. Okay. 
bueno, cuando yo hago una, uh, estoy en una conversación, pero usted hablaba, quiero ver, cuando estábamos en la página 22, el I, el, el de la tercera persona, ¿no? Que es S, I, S, O, S. ¿Qué página? Eh, ¿Qué página? No, en ese momento estábamos allá por la página 22, pero no es en el libro. Ajá. Es un diálogo que hicimos. Okay. Yo tenía una duda en esa cuestión que, eh, por ejemplo, si yo estoy en un diálogo diciendo que, por ejemplo, visit, I visit people for the machines. Pero para mí, en mi lógica, es eh, si lo estoy haciendo. O sea, estábamos como en esa duda que es solamente I visit people for the replace the machines o es I visiting people for repairs the machines. Pero el visiting solamente es en el presente, ¿verdad? Que si lo bueno. estuviese yo haciendo. Es que hay algo que, que, que hay algo que hay que definir, que tal vez la confusión es en los dos tiempos, en el presente simple y el presente, el presente perdón, progresivo. Ok. Vaya, sí. Algo muy importante es que el presente simple es para hablar acerca de tareas o rutinas o cosas que hago frecuentemente. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, el ejemplo que, que tú me estás dando es I, can you repeat it please? I visit people for repair the machines. Ajá, eso se hace regularmente, me imagino, ¿verdad? O al menos, ok, entonces sería el presente simple es para actividades que regularmente se hacen. So I visit people for repairing the machines. Es algo que hago, entonces uso I visit. Pero si yo quiero usar, quiero hablar de una actividad que se está haciendo en el momento, ahí sí uso el presente continuo que no lo hemos estudiado. Por ejemplo, imagínate mm -hmm. en ese momento que tú dices la oración, tú estás visitando a esas personas que reparan las máquinas. Y yo te llamo, hi, Loida, how are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Me dices tú, what are you doing? Te digo, ¿qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? Y tú me dices, oh, In this moment, I am visiting people for repairing the machines. Ah, I am visiting. Ahí sí aplica porque es lo que estás haciendo en el momento. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A mí un poco me cuesta la gramática. En español me cuesta muchísimo. Mucho más en inglés. In <laughs> Ese siempre ha sido mi telón de Chile. But in en el... grammar is easy. In English, grammar is easy. Ah, sí. Yeah. Es mucho más fácil. Ay, yeah. no. Ay, for sí. me, Spanish grammar is way too complicated so difficult mm -hmm. yeah yeah but that's that's the difference present simple for routines okay so like a... regular activity and present continuous or con el ing para acciones en el momento que estás haciendo en el momento okay yeah okay okay vaya solo voy a recapitular algo que es sobre los possessive nouns and possessive pronouns okay Ok, lo que, bueno, los pronouns no me es complicado. Yo sé que es mayor, her, his, mm -hmm. or the, vea. Pero, ¿por qué pronouns y por qué nouns? O sea, y el, vaya, en el sentido de que hay algo que yo vi, que yo veo desde pequeña con mis amigas que, sabía, que eran bilingües, que decían, por ejemplo, beer days y el apóstrofe, mm -hmm. Carla. O sea, obviamente el, el cumpleaños de Carla. Hasta ahora, teacher, lo he comprendido. Yo he estudiado a mí, yo he estado en un montón de lugares inglés, en el ITCA, en Océan Idiomas, en la Academia Europea. Pero no me gustó que en Océan no es con el inglés británico, el God, y eso. Y ahí me sentí peor confundida porque fue un montón de tiempo el que estuve ahí, pero sentía que mi cabeza, ay, no rebobinaba eso. Y como todo era bien como garboso, ¿no? Y muy elegante. Ay, yo sentí que no, 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 no. Pero esa parte hasta ahora la entendí en realidad. Y eh, es, es así, el noun es para los verbos, ¿verdad? Porque estoy, o oh, no, para los adjetivos, ¿verdad? No, para los verbos. El, el possessive noun. Es para, es para sustantivos o nombres. Para es sustantivos para, o nombres. Exactamente. Y, ajá, exactamente. Es para sustantivos. Eh, 
lo, lo que tú decías, por ejemplo, Carla's birthday, lo que decías, right? Carla's uh -huh. birthday. Es para sustantivos. Por eso, se llama, por eso el tema es possessive nouns, sustantivos o nombres posesivos. Possessive nouns, ¿ok? Ajá, porque los dos, si te fijas, aquí te estoy compartiendo, si te fijas, Carla es un sustantivo y birthday también es un sustantivo. Por eso se llaman possessive nouns, nombres posesivos. Ah, o sea, que el noun viene de nombre. Nombre o sustantivo. Es lo mismo. En inglés se dice noun, ah, pero sí. en español nosotros decimos sustantivo. ¿Qué es un sustantivo? Decimos una persona, un lugar, una cosa, todo lo que tiene que ser mm. objeto. Yeah. Ok, ok, me quedó súper claro ese detalle. Ahora, otra pregunta que tenía bien, y como son desde hace un montón que las tengo. Ahí está, okay. you can ask. This space is for you. Uh -huh. Entonces, el, el S, cuando se ocupa en el verbo, por ejemplo, eh, hablando ya ya ahí pues, estábamos por la página 28 del libro entonces se dice he delivers merchandise on Thursday he visits clients así es verdad teacher visits. y ese que es el verbo que, ese es un tiempo que que yo, por ejemplo, lo traduzco en el español, ella visita personas, o sea, como usted me dice, va como describir la rutina que se hace uh -huh, sin un tiempo Exacto. definido, solo sí. que se hace continuo. Ajá, solo que, ajá, sí, so, solo lo que tú me dices, que en tercera persona se le pone ese al verbo, pero eso no, es, no implica una traducción diferente, digamos, ponerle ese en español, ¿no? ¿Ok? Ajá. Solo que es una regla en inglés, que en tercera persona le ponen ese al verbo en presente simple en oraciones positivas. She visits relatives, visits. Esa es la visits. Relatives every day. O depende de la regla, lo que le explicaba. She goes, ella va. She goes to the park on Monday, for example. Or she listens, or he listens to music uh, in the morning, por ejemplo. Okay? Mm -hmm. Esa es, o depende de la regla, puede ser es. Y ese depende, pues, depende, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 eso sí lo entiendo súper bien, esa partecita. Esto okay. es en el presente simple. En el presente. Ajá, y creo que tengo dos más, solo, solo como rebobinar esa parte. En el inglés, el which, entonces solo es cuál cuando se refiere a preferencias, ¿verdad? Y se contesta con, pues, si es prefer o no. Se yeah. complementa la pregunta con el prefer o like o visit. Y cualquier otra cosa que se refiera al cual ya no es en inglés, sino que se, sería qué, dónde, cuándo, por qué. Así es, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y cualquier otro, cualquier otra WH word o information question. Ajá, sí. Y el what, que significa que el when, cuándo, el where, dónde, ya. Yeah. Exactamente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ahí, ahí tal vez podemos tender a confundirnos porque en español decimos cuál es tu nombre y en español decimos what's your name. Entonces en sí ese what, si lo traducimos, vamos a traducirlo como cuál, pero no es que significa cuál en sí, sino que en español decimos cuál es, es tu nombre. nombre. Yo tengo un reto bien grande en el inglés porque a veces que de repente, pone, por ejemplo, nos pone a hacer una rutina, a mí se me bloquea y digo... ¿Y qué hago? O sea, sí tengo un montón de cosas que hacer, pero en estos momentos es como que ni en español me fríen. Y como este es inglés para el trabajo, esa partecita de, de quizás como estoy en... Yo soy psicóloga y, y soy pedagoga. Pero mire, teacher, difícil comprender algunas uh, carreras o otros trabajos, ¿verdad? Porque si en español me cuesta saber qué hacen, mucho más en inglés. Entonces a veces me quedo como que... Mm, ellos, yo siento que a veces uno puede relacionar ciertas cosas, pero no siempre es fácil. Pero bueno, dice Real, que hay algo que eso, no, que no eso, te... Realmente eso es normal, ahorita. Incluso en mi caso, hay cosas en inglés para el trabajo que me preguntan y yo no las sé porque son áreas específicas, son áreas técnicas. Ese es ya inglés para bueno. propósitos específicos. Entonces, es normal que a veces no manejemos un término 
que, que está más allá quizás de, de, de lo que nosotros, no, en lo que nosotros no hemos especializado. Es normal. Pero para eso, por eso es que trabajan en equipo bastante, para que puedan escuchar a sus compañeros, para que aprendan palabras de su, de su negocio. Por eso se hace mucho trabajo en equipo, esa es la idea. That's the idea. Ok, y realmente quería también igual saber, había, usted explicaba que había proceso de verbo y de procesar, ¿verdad? Entonces, en el verbo se pronuncia process y no. procesar es proceso. En el nombre, en el nombre se pronuncia process, en el sustantivo, y en el verbo se pronuncia proceso. Proceso en el nombre y proceso en el verbo. Um, Por ejemplo, puedo decir, uh, this is a process. Ah, el verbo, pero o sea, me refer, me refer, se refiere así, ver, al verbo de procesar. Es Exactamente, proceso. Proceso. procesar es proceso. Uh -huh. Y proceso de... Y proceso es proceso. Proceso, proceso. Proceso, procesar. Process. Mm -hmm. Process. Ya. Yeah. Ocúpelo por, en una. En una en, Deme un ejemplo, teacher. Con, con el verbo o con el. Con, no, con el, no con el verbo, sino con el. Con el nombre. Lo, nombre. Uh -huh. uh, there is a process to make food. For example, there is a process to make food. There is a process, puede ser, hay un proceso para hacer comida o para hacer algo. There is a process, hay un proceso. There is a process. Ok. Bueno, teacher, solamente, ay, quería robarle un poquitito, es lo que sé que solo son 10 minutos, pero para mí. No, it's ok, es no problem. Que bueno. no sé si... Le voy a pronunciar las palabras que yo creo que son, que no las sabía y que están en mi vocabulario del cuadernito que yo le dije que tengo. Ok, perfecto. Pero se las voy a pronunciar para ver si están bien dichas. Porque de repente mis compañeros, a veces la pronunciación, yo dije que les, entre varios les ayudamos, pero a veces yo también no estoy convencida. Entonces dice así, es bookkeeper, financial analyst, human, si me confundo usted me interrumpe. ¿no? Es human resource specialist. Specialist. Yeah, specialist. Digital specialist. Specialist. Digital market manager. Insurance agent. Keep track of the. It's a check. Policies. The politicas. Ah, policies. Ese es policies. 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 Con estrés en la primera sílaba. Policies. 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 Okay. Software engineer, employees. Employees. Employed and employees. 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 Jeez. Okay. Manage management. 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 Manage management. 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 Finance. Okay. Management. Management. Finance lost. Finance lost. Rich. Lost. Mm -hmm. lost. Y riesgo es rich. Risk. 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 Mm -hmm. Con una K al final, risk. Yes. Con una C. Ajá, pero no muy pronunciada, lo hacía penitas, risk. risk. Y todas las palabras que terminan con K se pronuncia una C, como, Ajá, como, como una Como una Risk. Uh, mm -hmm. Risk. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Advertise. Social media, develop. Hand sanitizer. Account receive no receivable 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 yeah account receivable make for elaborar no qué significa account receivable ese era 
alguien dijo, pregunté esa palabra, esa no la sabía, yo la que le dije que era nueva. Ya me dicen, cuentas para, por pagar, parece que decían algo así, me parece. Okay. Ah, cuentas por pagar. Sí, yo creo que sí. That's new for me, sí. eso es nuevo para mí. Ajá, pero es lo mismo lo que decíamos, ¿verdad? Las, uh -huh. De las funciones de los trabajos. Ya. Yeah. Ok, yeah. y es eh, make, eh, es chudo, horario, chudo. Schedule, schedule. 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 Eso es nuevo para mí. Uh -huh. Schedule. 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 Ajá, schedule. Schedule. Que yo, que yo, que Al principio de Pauna. Ajá, ajá, Es que la S se pronuncia siempre como ES. No, no la S es. ¿Cómo, cómo hacerle? Ajá, que yo. Que yo. Okay. Y tight, ¿te apretado? Tight. 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 Arranges. Ok. ¿Cómo es, teacher? It's ok, así como lo dijiste. Tight. Tight. Arranges. Ok. Teller it arranges. 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 Mm -hmm. Eh, payroll. Payroll. A payroll. 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 Mm -hmm. payroll. 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 Carry. Yeah. Se lleva. Mm -hmm. Send. Ask. Keep. Merchandise. Signatures. Pinky bank. Que nunca había visto. El piggy bank. Piggy, piggy bank. Piggy bank. Uh -huh. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Uh -huh. Piggy bank. Okay. Uh, get customers, keep track of the sales, buy new, receive money, carry materials, and report. Ask. Y de ahí tengo otra que se acaban, que sería raw material otra vez, research. Esa. Me es un poquito complejo, pero así es. Research. Ajá, uh -huh. research. Uh -huh. Ok. Re eso, es lo, eso es lo mismo, eso es lo mismo que, que el, lo que decía del process. Si es un nombre, se dice research. Y si es un verbo, se dice research. Porque uh -huh. research, research puede significar investigación. O research puede significar investigar. Uh, research, nombre. Research, verbo. Uh -huh. Es lo mismo de process, process, research, research. ¿De verbo es? ¿Cómo creo que? Research. Con estrés en la última sílaba. O la mayor fuerza de voz en la última sílaba. Research. Igual que process, process. Process, research. Uh -huh. The same. Uh -huh. okay. Y de nombres, o sea, de nombres, research. research. De nombres, research. 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 ¿Y de verbo es? Research. Research. Exactly. Ok. Eh, recruit. Recruit. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Qué reclutar? Recruit. 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 Ajá. Recruit. 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 Ajá. Recruit. Ok. Recruit. Ajá. Recruit. Con un recruit. 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 Ok. Recruit. Enter. Train. Inflow. Outflow. Inventory. Workforce. Improve. Purchasing. 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 Exacto. Purchasing. Uh -huh. Ok. Y ya que Sí. Ah, otra, otra que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Headquarters. 
Uh, headquarters, o headquarters está bien también. Headquarters o headquarters. Headquarters. ¿Mm? Pero un, un americano diría headquarters, un gringo. Headquarters. Headquarters. Ok. Headquarters. Mm -hmm. Ok. Duties perform acquire que es adquirido obtener a, acquire. acquire 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 okay. acquire 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 ok teacher ya lo dejo para que descanse yo creo que eso era todo lo, lo que tenía ok thank you very much okay. for connecting Thank you, teacher. All Good right. night. Good night. Take Thank care. You. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.